Alberta has done a tremendous job of administering the COVID-19 vaccine that it has received. So far, over 30,000 AHS staff have received at least their first dose of vaccine, with many more thousands expected to be vaccinated in the coming weeks and months. Those who've been vaccinated greatly reduce their risk of contracting symptomatic COVID-19 disease. However, the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, or NACI, has noted that our experience with the vaccine is fairly limited to date. For example, we don't know how long the protection from the vaccine is going to last. We don't know how good the vaccine is going to be in preventing asymptomatic infection. And we don't know how effective the vaccine is going to be overall in reducing transmission of COVID-19 in our communities. As well, although clinical trials have demonstrated the vaccines are highly effective, they're not 100% effective, which means that those who've been vaccinated will, will greatly reduce their risk of being infected, but it won't reduce that risk down to zero. And so, all the public health measures that we currently have in place to prevent and control COVID-19 must remain in place even for those who've been vaccinated. So what does this mean? This means that even if you've been vaccinated, you still need to adhere to continuous masking and continuous use of eye protection. Even if you've been vaccinated, you still need to follow IPC recommendations when caring for suspected or confirmed COVID-19 patients, including the use of personal protective equipment, which consists of a mask, eye protection, gown, and gloves. And as well, if you're performing or involved in an aerosol generating medical procedure on a suspected or confirmed COVID-19 patient, that mask must be changed for an N95 respirator. Even if you've been vaccinated, you still need to perform diligent hand hygiene. Even if you've been vaccinated, you still need to perform our daily fit for work screening when you come to work. Even if you've been vaccinated, if you have had unprotected exposure to a confirmed COVID-19 case, you will still be required to quarantine. Similarly, if you've returned from international travel to Alberta, you will also still be required to quarantine even if you've been vaccinated. And finally, after you've been vaccinated, if you develop COVID-19 symptoms, you're still expected to take the online self-assessment for COVID-19 testing. Although COVID-19 vaccination has been a tremendously positive step forward in our battle in this pandemic, we must still maintain our current public health measures to prevent and control the spread of COVID-19. Thank you. Together, we do amazing things every day.